Hello everyone, welcome to another video of TT Passion. My name is Vincent and today in this video, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the uh, Butterfly New Rubber that is the Glazer series. So I've gotten two pieces of it. Uh, one is the Glazer 09C uh, black in color 2.1 millimeters okay and i have gotten the glazer that is red in color also 2.1 millimeters okay so uh basically i'm using the o9c on my forehand and also the glazer on my backhand since the glazer is slightly softer okay so in terms of these two rubber um it is made from the similar technology with the Dignix series, uh, the Dignix 09C and the Dignix 05. Uh, a quick check on their hardness, the Dignix 09C is actually 44 degrees. The Glazer 09C is at 42 degrees, so it's 2 degrees softer. And for the Glazer, it is actually at 38 degrees, okay, which is 2 degrees softer than Dignix 05. So um, according to Butterfly, the top sheet and the uh, sponge used for the rubber is similar to the Dignix series uh, however the price range for these two rubber uh, is actually cheaper okay um, I have gotten this for about uh, slightly more than 60 sing dollars okay and for Dignix either 05 or 09c it cost it would cost roughly about a hundred sing dollar okay so that's about a uh, almost a forty dollars difference and today I have just tried the um, the rubbers in fact i just came back from playing and i thought uh, it's uh, it's very timely for me to share with you my thoughts on these two pieces of rubber okay so before i move on to share with you my thoughts on this rubber i would like to thank you for tuning in to this video if you have not subscribed to tt passion do remember to hit the like share and subscribe button your uh, like and subscription will be my greatest motivation to create more awesome table tennis video to share with everyone on youtube okay so uh, moving into my review the blade that I've uh, applied these two rubber onto is Inher Pro 01 okay uh, if you are thinking why Inher Pro 01 out of so many good blades that uh, I, I have uh, it's because recently I just uh, started trying out this Inher Pro 01 it's a really affordable blade uh, at around 60 Singapore dollars that I've got it for uh, but the quality is uh, rather impressive so I've decided to try it on this blade uh, so far I have, find, I have very good uh, positive thoughts on the Inher Pro 01 that I have over here which I will share with you my review of it in a separate video so for the purpose of this video this is the blade I have used for the sharing with you my thoughts on the two rubber the Glazer O9C and Glazer okay so as you can see the Glazer 09C also come with a plastic film basically it also uh, has a tacky top sheet uh, it is slightly sticky uh, I when I tried playing it uh, in terms of the tackiness of the rubber I don't really feel that it's very sticky uh, in fact I was think that the Nyx 09C is uh, feels more sticky than the Glazer 09C so if you are thinking about the tackiness I would say that the Nyx 09C definitely feels more tacky okay so how does the rubber looks like if some of you are curious basically i mean other than the top sheet being black and red the sponge uh, is actually gray in color for both the glazer on ic and glazer and for the glazer um the red actually with my naked eyes when i look on it rather on the video okay on the video it just looked like very normal red but uh, if you are looking it with your naked eyes i do feel that the shade of the red feels different from the Dignix series okay uh, it feels closer to the I would say Rosanna type of red probably in between the Dignix uh, 05 or 09C and the Rosanna okay so the red is slightly the color shade is slightly different so as part of the review I will be sharing with you some of the snapshots that I've taken during the uh, gameplay I had today with my friend so thank you Edwin for assisting me with testing out the blade today uh, very much appreciated okay so my thoughts on these two rubber here uh, I think I'm going to share it in general for these two pieces of rubber because they are pretty similar uh, except for the fact of the Dynix 09C uh, is a tacky rubber uh, because during my uh, gameplay earlier on I could feel that in general these two rubber are very similar except for the tackiness part of the Dignix uh, sorry the Glazer 09C okay so uh, my thoughts on these two pieces of rubber let's talk about the rotation first the spin that you can create 
Both rubber creates a fairly decent spin. Uh, however, in terms of the spin, if you were to compare it to the Dignix 09C or the Dignix 05, I would think that the spin is actually lower than the other two pieces of rubber that Butterfly has. So that's for the spin part of the rubber. Uh, in terms of speed of the ball, I would say that it's still uh, average. Okay, I don't feel that the ball is extremely fast. Um, however, at times when I do whip it with a very nice stroke, the ball does travel at a very fast pace. But if I were to compare it to the Dignix 09C or the Dignix 05 again, uh, this Glazer series feels slower okay, than the Dignix series. So that's one thing that you might want to consider if you are comparing between these two rubber and deciding what to buy. Now let's talk about the trajectory of the Glazer series. For both the Glazer 09C and the Glazer, I do feel that the trajectory is actually quite high uh, compared to the Dynamic series. The ball bounces pretty high uh, across your opponent's court and flying towards your opponents. So I think that this is actually uh, could be a disadvantage if you are playing very advanced players who are very fast. So with a high trajectory, the ball bounces up high could be an advantage for your opponent instead. So that could cause you some trouble okay, if you are playing against a very skillful player. Okay, unless you are equally skillful, then you are so fast, I think that, that might not be a too big of an issue. But if I'm thinking in terms of my level of play, if I were to meet someone stronger, uh, that could probably pose as an issue for me when I play a match. Okay, lastly, uh, in terms of the tackiness of the Glazer 09C, uh, I, I personally don't feel that it is very sticky, okay, uh, because I'm more used to using Hurricane, uh, which in terms of tackiness, I think is way more tacky than the uh, Dynix and the Glazer 09C over here. Uh, in comparison to Gla for in comparison of Glazer 09C and Dynix 09C, I do feel that the Dynix 09C is more tacky than the Glazer 09C over here. Uh, but having said that, I think it still fares fairly well as a tacky rubber. Uh, I think in general, if you ask me whether it's worth it to buy the Glazer 09C and Glazer, uh, I will say firstly, it depends on how much you are going to pay for it, depending on which country you are in. For me, I got it for around $62 per piece. Uh, but if you are paying anything more than that, I will say that it might be too expensive for this rubber. Okay, in fact, at the price point of $62, I do feel that it is a little bit expensive. Uh, but if you are on a budget and you can't quite afford the Dignix series or you feel that on a long-term basis, uh, using the Dignix may not be sustainable because of its priciness, then you can consider the Glazer series. Okay, uh, Of course, quality-wise, the shots that you have may not be at the Dignix level, but uh, for long-term sustainability, you may want to consider this as a similar alternative to the Dignix series. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to give a score in terms of the uh, spin, the speed and the tackiness for these two pieces of rubber. So let's talk about um, the Glazer 09C first. Due to its tackiness, I would say that the spin will be slightly stronger than the Glazer okay, that I have on the back hand. So for the spin of the Nix 09C, uh, out of a maximum score of 5, I personally would rate it at a, uh, maybe a 3.5. Okay, and for the speed, I will say that it's maybe a 3 out of 5. Okay, it's not extremely fast. Okay, I feel that it's fast enough but not extremely fast. And in terms of the trajectory, uh, 1 being low and 5 being high, I will rate this as a 4, uh, 4 out of 5, okay, which is pretty high for uh, trajectory. And for the glazer, okay, for the glazer over here, in terms of the spin, I will say that I will give it a rating of a 2.5 out of 5. In terms of speed, I will say the same as well, 2.5 out of 5. And lastly, for the tra trajectory, I will say that it's also pretty high. Uh, I will give it a 4 out of 5 as well. Okay, so that will sum up my thoughts in terms of these two pieces of rubber over here. Uh, if you were to ask me whether it is worth it to buy or not, I will say that uh, it depends on your budget um, and 
whether you have tried the Denix series before. If you have tried the Denix series before and you love it, uh, but yet the cost is a, a pretty much of a consideration, then you may want to try the Glazer series. Okay. Uh, however, because of the higher trajectory, some of us may not enjoy it. So do think carefully before you want to commit to buy the Glazer series. For me, uh, I'm certainly enjoying using it today and I think I will continue to use it uh, more for my sessions playing with my friend. Uh, I will even consider it using as one of my primary uh, rubber. Okay, basically uh, a few reasons. Firstly, uh, I've been always using Hurricane Tree for my forehand and very often I will need to boost the Hurricane Tree in order to achieve the feeling that I want to achieve and that is actually very time consuming and so I have been always trying to look for an alternative that uh, is affordable and give me a similar result in terms of my forehand um, so that's one reason and secondly in terms of the sustainability I think this rubber uh, price at around 60 plus uh, I think that is still uh, pretty much considered as reasonable if compared to the Dignix series. Okay, so those are the two simple reasons that I have in mind on why I would actually switch to these rubbers as my primary rubber. So at the end of the day, it is still up to you to decide because different people have different budget and thinking uh, and school of thoughts when it comes to selecting a rubber and using it for the long term. And ultimately, it is still down to you whether you can afford the rubber and uh, what are your thoughts on the rubber as well after trying it, okay? Okay, so with that, I've come to the end of my sharing for the Glazer O9C and Glazer rubber that I've tried today. So I hope you like what you have seen today and this video actually helps you to decide whether to buy or not to buy the Glazer series rubbers to try. Um, last but not least, do remember to hit the like, share and subscribe button for more awesome table tennis video content brought to you by TT Passion. Thank you very much and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.